Okay, so by now, you know the cultural importance of this Coen Brothers classic. Some of the most quotable lines of dialogue. Donnie, you're out of your element. Captivating plot and outright career-defining performances from the likes of Jeff Bridges, John Goodman and John Turturro. But there's a theme running through this film that is nothing short of ubiquitous. And that theme is the decline of masculinity and more precisely, castration. So let's dive right into the main examples of this. The character of Walter Sobchak, brilliantly played by John Goodman. At first glance, he appears to be like a man's man, beer drinking, bowling team member with a penchant for firearms and the Vietnam War. But he's actually emasculated and cuckold by his ex-wife. So much so that he's dog-sitting her Pomeranian while she holidays with her new partner in Honolulu. Man, if my fucking ex-wife asked me to take care of her fucking dog while she and her boyfriend went to Honolulu, I'd tell her to go fuck herself. Why can't you board it? Then we have the character of the Big Lebowski himself, brilliantly portrayed by the late David Huddleston. Although on the surface, he is the patriarch of the Lebowski tribe, his life is controlled by women. We learn that his daughter Maud is in fact financing his lifestyle and his real fortune is from his ex-wife and not his own achievements. I mean, the man is literally powerless from the waist down. All of the men in the film are inadequate while the women are powerful, cunning and ultimately solve the plot of the film. This scene perfectly sums up just how useless the men are. Show me what you got, nihilist. I fuck you! Walter, come on, he's got a sword thing, man. with a nine-toed woman. I fuck you! Is he mad? Fuck you! Hit the four dollars! I fuck you! 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 We got a man down, dude! It's a heart attack. Call the medics, dude. I call myself, but I'm pumping blood. Might pass out. Rest easy, good buddy. You're doing fine. We got help choppering in. Even the great writer, Arthur Digby Sellers, is useless without the help of his housemate, Pilar. In fact, she's literally keeping him alive due to his iron lung. The men display their masculinity to each other by pissing on rugs to mark their territory. Lebowski. You got the wrong guy. I'm the dude, man. Drawing gigantic penises, destroying prized sports cars, pulling guns on each other, and even physically and metaphorically polishing their balls like some act of dominance. One of the most obvious signs of a man losing his masculinity is castration, and this metaphor runs throughout the film. Firstly, the dude's definition of a man is simply having a pair of nuts. I'm sure that in a pair of testicles. We see scissors throughout the film, be it in dreams, hidden in the background, or even used as a threat. I said we cut off your junction! But the biggest clue to this is actually a line that was taken out of the final script, when Walter pulls the Big Lebowski out of his wheelchair, the character's final line was in fact, you bullies, you and these women, you won't leave a man his fucking balls. But, and it's a big but, as we find out towards the end of the film, testicles are needed by women, no matter how powerful the woman is, no matter how rich the woman is, men play a role in the most important thing in life, and that is life itself. Was that yoga? It increases the chances of conception. <coughs> increases? Well, yes. What did you think this was all about? Fun and games? I want a child. Okay, yeah, okay. 